Well, we begin here tonight with the alert from federal investigators of an uptick in threats against the Jewish community as it prepares to celebrate Passover tonight. Today, Columbia University moved all of their classes online in response to escalating protests on campus over the Israel Hamas war. Yale University also announcing dozens of arrests today for criminal trespassing due to similar protests. And as the war in Gaza continues tonight, Jewish communities across the country are now on alert for what the FBI called, quote, lone actors. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton taking an in-depth look here at the warning and the increase in anti-Semitic incidents right here in Florida. The pictures on this wall, grandparents, parents, aunts, uncles, kids. Some are survivors of the Holocaust, some aren't. Some are blood relatives of the museum interim CEO, Michael Eagle. Unfortunately, 79 years since the end of the Holocaust, Eagle and millions of Jews across the country and abroad are worried about safety as they celebrate the first day of Passover. Semitism is up over 300% since October 7th, which when you think about it is backwards. According to the Anti-Defamation League, since the start of the Israel-Hamas war, there have been 8,873 anti-Semitic incidents in this country. I'm breaking the numbers down even more. 161 were assaults, 6,535 were harassments, 2,177 vandalism. California, New York, New Jersey, Florida, and Massachusetts have had the highest number of incidents. Despite those stats, the Jewish community across Tampa Bay still plan to celebrate Passover and what this holiday means. The reason Jewish people have been able to survive so many, so many stages of persecution and threats of annihilation is because they found a balance. On the one hand, they were always aware of the threats and the dangers that they faced. But at the same time, they always made a conscious decision to celebrate life, to be proud of their traditions, to continue to observe the holidays, and to marry and raise children, and to pass along this beautiful tradition to their children and their children after them. And I think that's the message for this year on Passover. The FBI, state and local law enforcement are all on high alert for any potential threats. I reached out to our local colleges and universities and they all tell me that campus police will remain visible on and around campuses and they are in communication with local law enforcement. And this is the important message the local Jewish community want to send out to everyone this week. Be careful, but don't be scared. We still have to be who we are. That's what victory looks like, which is one of the important lessons of the Holocaust. JJ Burton, ABC Action News.